What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will review this cold water plunge bath that I got from 5 Below for $20. I will assemble it, and I will test it. So here is where the story begins. I was at 5 Below, and I saw this cold water plunge bath for $20. I'm personally not into plunge baths, but it looked interesting, so let's check it out. Cold water plunge bath. Refresh and rejuvenate. Here's some specifications, and it's easy to set up. Moving to the other side, we've got cold water rejuvenation, collapsible and compact, portable design, 18 gallon capacity, and here's a woman chilling in the plunge bath, having a great time. And here's some athletes who want to freeze in the cold water bath. I will remove everything from the box, then we'll check it out in detail. We have the portable cold plunge tub, six PVC tubes, one water tube, some glue and patches, instructions, and the air pump. Step one is to unfold the tub, and that's all it takes. But I'm going to keep going because I'm curious. I'm gonna set it all the way up. And this thing is small. This advertisement picture might just be a little bit misleading. And for reference, I am six foot one, 200 pounds. The next step is to install the PVC tubes. There's a sleeve on the side of the cover with a hole at the bottom to install the tube. Push the round end of the tube into the hole and slide it all the way into the sleeve. Install all six tubes, then stand it up. Let's take a look. Here is a port to add water from the hose. And here's the PVC tube that it stands on. Going inside, here's the inlet for the water. And the plug has a smiling animal face on it. And this looks like a drain plug. And here's a view of the PVC tubes. And last, here's the valve for adding and removing air. So that's what it's all about so far. Let's add the air. The pump says to inflate, use the blue nozzle, and to deflate, use the red nozzle. Here's the blue and red nozzles that it's referring to. Connect one end of the hose to the blue nozzle so we can inflate, and connect the other end of the hose to the nozzle adapter. And I'm using this nozzle because it fits the valve the best. Insert the nozzle into the valve and start pumping. Inflating the top rim of my cold water plunge bath. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Oh yeah. Before we try it out, let's take a quick look at the size of this thing and how I'm going to fit in it. It measures in at 27 inches tall and about 24 inches in diameter. Based on the advertisement picture, I was concerned how I would get into this thing. I thought I would need a stool to get in and out. But now, seeing it in person, I don't know how I'm going to fit in this thing. If I sit all the way down, I can't get out. Here's a top view of how tight it is. I seriously have to dump this thing over and crawl out to get out of it. I'm not exaggerating, this is what it took. But that was trying to sit all the way down inside like this, so I'm fully submerged, like the advertisement picture. But I can't stand up and get out from this position. The other option is to sit on my knees. I won't be fully submerged like the advertisement picture, but I'll be able to stand up and get back out. Here's another view so you can see what I'm describing. This is what I'll be doing in the real test. Last, we're supposed to add water right here with the hose tube. It extends and it's flexible. Connect one end to the hose port by just pushing it on and the other end is intended to be connected to a hose. I don't see how that's gonna work, but let's bring this thing outside and try it out. And here we are outside. This is exciting. Let's add some water. I have the garden hose ready to hook up so we can pump some water and get in that ice cold plunge bath. But as expected, I don't get it. This is what I think about this water tube. And bam, there you go, pump water. But before we add water, we need to close these ports. This water port is surprisingly difficult to close. It takes some power. Closing this with the tub full of water would be absolutely ridiculous. It would make a lot more sense if this was a drain port and a drain tube but the instructions say to fill the tub with water using the water tube. And the bottom drain port, plug no problem. It's time to add some water. For normal use, it doesn't need to be filled all the way to the top because my body will display some of the volume. But since this is my first time, I'm filling it all the way up because I don't know how much room my body will take up and I want it full to the top. And here it is, filled up with water. The weight of the water is evenly distributed inside and rounds it out and the plug is not leaking, so we're looking good. And the next ingredient is ice. It's already freezing out here, but it's in the picture, so let's add it. And now, 
it's finally time for the main event to get in. So this is my first time doing an ice plunge. I've never had the need to submerge myself in ice water before. Maybe someday in the future when I'm a universal soldier or something. I very briefly looked online to see how long to stay in. Plunge recommends two to three minutes. Look up use procedures and medical implications for an ice plunge yourself. I don't know anything about it and I'm just reviewing the actual product. What I can tell you about this experience is that it's freezing in here and I'm getting out. So now I'm done and it's time to drain it. The only accessible port is this goofy hose fill connection, but it's closed from the inside. I'll try to poke something through from the outside to pop it open on the inside. It took a little bit of force, but it worked. Here are my final thoughts on it. It holds water as advertised. It's small. This is a benefit if you can fit in it because it uses less water and takes up less room. It's a disadvantage if you can't fit in it. The port at the bottom is weird and the plug should be on the outside to use as a drain. And there's no storage bag included, which is not ideal. So that wraps it up. I hope you found this helpful or entertaining. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.